Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a reading vlog and I am so so excited because we are doing my first time ever reading and then there were none by Agatha Christie, the queen of murder herself and this is of course one of her most popular books ever. I've been saving this for a special occasion. I'm actually going to be doing a live stream book club like discussion with Lauren Naomi, another YouTuber. I will link her channel down below. The discussion is going to be on the 24th, which is a Sunday. I will leave the link to it, the details and everything. If you guys want to join, you know, it's, everyone's welcome, of course. Just a cozy tea, like, you know, bring your tea, bring your pastries discussion, and we're all going to be discussing And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. So as a result, I'm going to be reading this in this reading vlog to prepare for that because I have never ever read this book. I do have the BBC I uh, like TV cover for this right here which let me know if you have watched this series is it good? I don't watch a lot of TV series but if I really love this book which I'm I already feel that this is probably gonna be a five star read you know I feel like I'm gonna love this book. Um, let me know if you like the series I, I'm interested in that. So if you are unfamiliar with the general premise of this book it is a closed murder mystery which is one of my absolute favorite tropes basically where everyone in involved in the murder mystery is cut off from the rest of the world so that you know you only have a select few people who could have done it basically. So the basic synopsis of this is that 10 strangers are invited to Soldier Island, an isolated rock off the Devon coast. Cut off from the mainland with their generous host mysteriously absent, they are each accused of a terrible crime. Then one of the party dies suddenly and they realize there may be a murderer in their midst, a murderer who might strike again and again. And all the time, copies of a macabre nursery rhyme hang in each room. A nursery rhyme with an omen of death for all ten of them. And according to the back of this, this book came in as the number one pick for, in a global vote, for the world's favorite Agatha Christie book for her 125th birthday, which is mind-boggling because she has so many books and I have read a handful of them. So far my favorite has actually probably been The Murder at the Vicarage and The Moving Finger which I recently finished. That's the uh, the third novel in the Miss Marple series and that was phenomenal. So anyways we're gonna go ahead and hop into reading this. I'm gonna spend some time reading this this afternoon and read it over the next few days. I so so excited and let's go ahead and hop into the first clip for this reading vlog. Alright so we're gonna go ahead and start reading and then there were none. The done. So I got that. I got my Dracula bookmark from the Seasons Classic Edition that I hauled in my birthday book haul a while ago because I thought nice and mysterious and creepy. And we are going to go ahead and start. And then there were none. Page one, chapter one. <laughs> Welcome to another update for this vlog. So I'm going to be doing my makeup while talking to you guys because it's a very busy work day. So we're trying to combine the two activities. Basically, last night I was reading and I'm about 110 pages in two and then there were none. As always, I will be keeping this spoiler free and just sharing kind of my thoughts and stuff as I go. Um, so don't worry about that. But it's really gripping. I was having a very, very hard time putting it down last night. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's very gripping. People are already dying. I believe I provided a summary in the first part, but essentially, you know, we have these 10 strangers who've all been invited to this island under a variety of interesting pretenses. Nobody actually seems like they know who truly invited them. It's very mysterious. And I'm really enjoying the characters. I am having a little bit of a hard time. My edition doesn't have the characters, like a uh, character reference sheet in the beginning, like a lot of Agatha Christie mysteries do. I don't know if it's just my copy or the this particular book in general that they don't provide the characters list for. But I am really enjoying the characters and I'm starting to get to know them and recognize their names a little bit better as I'm going. Several people have already died, you know, unsurprisingly since this is in fact a murder mystery, and 
I was reading last night, and the person who I thought did it ended up dying before, just before I went to bed, and I was just kind of like, well, there goes that plan. Um, and I'm trying to think about it, because I know I've read, I'm sure, I know this is a very twisty book, is how it's been described to me, so I'm sure there's a lot of things where, like, someone could have maybe faked a death or something, but I'm trying to think of how this person could have faked the death, and it's really, it's, like, it'd be a puzzler. It would really be something to try to explain how this person could have faked it, so I'm, I'm not really sure. So my suspect went down the tubes. I really only had two primary suspects, and the, the first suspect I have, I kind of changed my mind about. And then the second one that I was really convinced of for most of the book so far just died. So we're kind of in a rocky place for me trying to solve the mystery. It's not going so well. But I'm definitely enjoying it. I love the setting. It's very stormy. It's very dark and mysterious. It's an isolated murder mystery that they're, you know, stranded on this island. They can't get help. So that's kind of a fun... <laughs> fun element for me. I really love that in a mystery where it's just them and the murderer. Like, there's just nothing they can really do, or at least they're, they think they have some control, but maybe they really don't. I think it's kind of a fun, fun element for that. I am really enjoying learning as I go about the different alleged crimes that these people committed because as like the back of the book says each person on the that is invited to the island is accused of a crime that involved like someone and these are like big crimes too like they're they're pretty um pretty scary crimes so I am enjoying learning about these crimes because some of the people when when these murders and like crimes and things were announced some people like automatically denied it some people said oh you know it was an accident some people said like you know just like gave excuses for it some people were like that's absolutely preposterous I didn't do anything like that so it's kind of interesting as we go to kind of learn more about them and are they actually being honest with the group was there actually an accident Did they actually have malicious intent like what exactly happened that led to it so, so far it seems like most of the things that they mention are true to some extent, it looks like, which is really interesting. It kind of reminds me of uh, The Guest List by Lucy Foley, and like they're airing all of the characters' dirty secrets, which again, I really love it. It feels like a Clue murder mystery game, so I'm all there. Does anyone else love the Clue, like the, the movie? The old movie, I love that movie so much. It's so much fun. Yeah, so I'm not actually sure what I believe. Like, we're, you know, it's established. We know, like, there's a murderer, of course, like, on this island. But I don't know if I believe is, is it just one person. Could it be multiple people? I don't know. I'm not convinced. Like, the group kind of thinks that maybe it's one of them. But then is it someone else on the island? Like, they're searching to see if there's other people on the island that are, like, hiding out and that are actually the murderers instead of the people who are invested, like, who are invited, and I'm just, <laughs> what's really getting me is trying to piece together how and why someone would want all of these people dead, because all these people, they come back from different backgrounds, different social, like, statuses, different careers, like, they're very varied in terms of, you know, who's there, so I'm kind of trying to figure out exactly who would have not only had like a motive, like maybe there's somebody who wants to seek justice for all of these like perceived wrongs or possible crimes that these people might have committed, but how would they have even known? And like I said, these people, like the crimes seem like they vary dramatically, not only based on like the different groups these people like fall into, but also like by time, by years. So it's not like all of these alleged crimes happened within like a six month span or something so I'm like how would they have gotten their hands on all of the information <laughs> to accuse these people because the like the invitations and stuff to get all these strangers onto the island were very specific they were very like they know these people in some way like they either know them personally or they've really done their research and I'm going to be very intrigued to find out how Agatha Christie like pulls that all together and as the crimes and like murders on the island have been going on, I've been trying to pay attention to who, you know, who was where, like who would have had the means to carry out the murder. 
but honestly, I mean, the people are it's so sparse and, you know, people go to bed at night in their own bedroom, so it's like, it's kind of, you know, it's, there's really no one I feel like I could eliminate at this point and be like, oh yeah, they definitely do it, didn't do it. There's people who I'm like, I don't think they did it. I feel like there's a one person in particular I feel like is really being pushed as the murderer at the current moment at least, and I'm like, no, I don't think so. I think it's like, I think they're a red herring, but we'll see. <laughs> We'll, we'll definitely see. I, I just feel like I'm going to be completely wrong with whoever I guess at the end. I feel like it's going to be wrong with... Because Agatha Christie, I have never once solved one of her mysteries. Ever. She, they're always so well done. In fact, I recently read Agatha Christie's The Moving Fingers, which is the third one in the Miss Marple series, and I was convinced I had it. Like, And I thought I had guessed the right person about halfway through and I was really excited. I was like, I might have got it. I might have solved this. I was I was reading it and I was reading it all like in uh, the, the second half of that book like all in one night and I was telling my husband um, as he like stopped by, he was like, how's the mystery going? And he knows I've never solved one of her mysteries and he was like, do you think you got it this time? And I was like, I think I got it and I told him who I thought it was and I was like, hold me to it. I want to see, you know, if I got it. And unfortunately, <laughs> Agatha Christie, like she did. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a good read and it was so well done so I can't I can't be upset at it but it was a little I really thought I had it with the moving fingers and then she so artfully just like was like nah that's not it and like pulled it over right at the very last second and I was like oh. I, I really <laughs> she's a really really tough let me know have you ever solved one of her mysteries before getting to the end and if so was that like you know, was that early on in reading Ag Agatha Christie, or did it take you like 10 novels or something in, where you kind of started picking up on her? Okay, I think considering that I'm doing this makeup while talking, and I'm not exactly schooled at that, I feel like this is coming together pretty well. Maybe not my neatest look ever, but enough enough for the day certainly does anyone else ever go oh i'm gonna do a very like light makeup look today just keep it simple you know a little mascara a little foundation a little lipstick and blush or something and then they see like a bright colored or like shimmery eyeshadow and they're just like oh you know <laughs> since that's there i might as well that's what happens to me almost every time i do my makeup it's like today i thought oh i'll do a really simple soft brown eyeshadow or just keep it with mascara and here I am with like a blazing orange eyeshadow and like a shimmery kind of greenish gold color that's that I'm really enjoying. Okay, I think I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna run a brush through my hair and we're gonna talk a little more Agatha Christie here because I am <laughs> I'm truly dazzled by her. I think it's imp incredible because the more I read her, it's like the more I'm like, I don't think five stars is enough usually for her books. I've given, I think, all of her books that I've previously finished five stars before. And it just, it's not five star read. It's like next level, like, unbelievable. Like, the way she crafts her mysteries. You just know every time you open one that it's going to be mind-boggling. At least in my opinion. So that is, that is my update for that. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind me doing doing my makeup while I talk a little bit. I thought since this was a reading vlog, a little more casual of a format, and we could kind of combine the two today since I'm, I'm a bit swamped. But I'm so excited for the live stream discussion this Sunday because this book is already it's already beating my expectations, which were already very high for this book because this is one of the most, if not maybe the most beloved Agatha Christie novel of all time, like it's been voted one of the most popular, if if not the most popular Agatha Christie. So I already had very high expectations knowing how great her other work is, and it's it's delivering. It, the suspense in this is absolutely killer, no pun intended, and I just can't wait. So stay tuned, we're gonna hop into the next update now. Hi guys, welcome back to our final update. Today I thought it would be fun to take you along as I made some chocolate chip and chocolate mint cookie bars. So as you can see, I'm 
making those, assembling the batter and everything. I will have the simple recipe down below. It's really basic, nothing, nothing crazy, but basically you take whatever cake mix, whatever flavor you want, and then combine it with the ingredients listed that I kind of show on screen and also in the description. And you can throw in whatever chocolate chips or like fillings you like. I've done peanut butter chips, chocolate chips, mint chips, like the possibilities are endless. You could probably do like caramel chips, white chocolate chips, whatever you like. So these were chocolate, which I have here. Yeah. So today we finished, and then there were none by Agatha Christie, and she did it again. She pulled it over on me so good. I did not see that ending coming whatsoever. I am so completely impressed. I will not give any spoilers in this, as it's kind of explained at the end, you're just like, wait what but the more you read it the more it makes sense and i i guessed the wrong person i didn't have it i didn't guess it correctly this book was absolutely amazing i'm actually really looking forward to i want to look at my library and see what kind of movies they have for this i know there's a couple out as well as tv series so if you have a favorite one let me know if there's like a must see version of this book let me know because i definitely would love to see a movie version of this but this book was phenomenal. This definitely lived up to the hype for me. I really enjoyed it. I thought at first I'd have a really hard time keeping track of 10 different characters, but the way she did it was really well, so I only really experienced that for the first, like, 50 pages or so. I had to kind of keep referencing who was who, but once I kind of got into the meat of the story, I was really into it. I knew who was, like, who, and it was, it was, it was really a page turner like I couldn't put it down I had to like take breaks and like just keep reading as much as I could on those breaks and the pages just kept flying there was so so much suspense with this um, especially because as it says on the back so you know no spoilers the nursery rhyme with an omen of death for all ten of them it's like you she kind of tricks you into thinking that you know how the next death is going to happen or what's going to happen next based on that like very like mysterious creepy macabre like nursery rhyme but you really don't and that's what i like about agatha christie is with this book is she really gives you the sense of control because she kind of lays it out for you with the rhyme but you really haven't you don't you don't have any idea at least i don't so i absolutely love this i recommend this this was an amazing Agatha Christie read for me. I think this one and The Moving Finger are probably my favorites. The Murder at the Vicarage was really close too though. <laughs> I don't know. They're all really good so I would highly recommend this if you haven't read it. This was just my personal edition here and then there were none. Again if you're interested in a book club discussion there will be spoilers of that club so if you haven't read it or you know or you're not going to binge read it today you know, maybe you don't intend if you don't want any spoilers, but there will be a live stream book club discussion that anyone's welcome to join with myself and fellow YouTuber Lauren at Naomi. I will include the links and description down below. It's going to be held at 6 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow, June 24th, which is a Sunday. So I will have all the links and, com and the information for that in the description as well as like in a comment down below that I'll pin. So if you want to, I would love to see you guys in the live chat for that. It's going to be really fun. We're going to have 
have like pastries and tea and stuff and just talk about this incredible book. So if you want to join in, I would love to see you guys there. And I hope you enjoyed this reading vlog. It was really fun to film. If you'd like to see more of these types of videos from me, let me know. This was kind of my first big jump into a reading vlog. So hopefully it came together. We'll see in the editing process. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys all. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you do enjoy mysteries, I talk about them extensively on this channel as well as other books, but a lot of mystery, thriller, cozy mysteries on this channel. It's very, we're a very mystery themed channel. So definitely hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you have read this, let me know. What were your thoughts? Because I, I had no idea. Did you guess it? I didn't. So see you guys soon. Bye.